Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, welcome back. I'm Candace. Well, it's uh, Sunday today and we decided to shoot just like a bonus video. Uh, we normally do five videos a week, but we wanted to just do a short one uh, today because we didn't know exactly where we we're going to fit this in to our other content. So, I said, right. Candace, like, you want to just film one today? I was like, sure, let's do it. Yep. So, this is stuff we picked up at garage sales yesterday and um, a couple of estate sales this morning. Yeah. And Candace hasn't even seen the estate sales stuff. She's been running a uh, cookie booth. Yeah. Girl Scout cookie booth season. So, um, I went and worked a booth this morning with Molly. And I went to a couple of estate sales uh, and picked up a few things that I will bring in after we go over um, our garage sale stuff. Now, we didn't buy a ton. However, how much did we spend? We spent like $51, I think was the total. <laughs> like, yeah, we got a lot of stuff for $51, I think. Yeah, all this stuff we're going to show you, except for the estate sale stuff, is we only paid 51 bucks for. Yep. So uh, let's get started. Let's show them what we got. All right. So this was good and kind of a heartbreaker story here. We went to a neighborhood sale and um, those are usually not that great. You know, usually people just have a couple of tables stuff out. We walk up and um, there's this kid walking down the driveway wearing a helmet just like that. <laughs> yes. And um, I thought it was their kid. I know. We didn't know who it was. And we're like. <laughs> <laughs> so we walk up the driveway and there's another one sitting on the ground with a two dollar price tag on it so Lonnie what'd you do <laughs> so okay so <laughs> I brought this one up there and I bought it and I said uh I said hey is that is that one that the, the kid's wearing is that for sale too and he's like no that kid just bought it I'm yeah. like oh yes I made the assumption it was your child yeah. but it's someone's else's child okay I was gonna try if it was their kid I was gonna try and buy it off of his head <laughs> for two dollars it but, is a shoot helmet it looks like a pretty good one huh yeah it's pretty good i it's a 2016 model i the foam looks really good oh it looks really or clean padding, in there. i guess it's not foam yeah yeah it looks really clean paid two i think we'll get somewhere around 50 to 60 for it okay so i mean we've done like that's kind of a new area for us our helmets and we've done really really well with them yeah so this is kind of cool. I found this for 25 cents in a little table of jewelry. Um, every every year when LSU plays Arkansas, it's for the boot trophy. Yep. And um, because, you know, the two states together look like a big, tall cowboy boot, I guess. So this says boot the bacon. Um, November 2003 is what year this was from. It's a, it's a lapel pin. That's the year LSU won. LSU won national championship that year. With what coach? I think it was Saban, I believe. Oh. <laughs> Saban was still. I think that was Saban's one of Saban's last years. Yep. There. So twenty five cents for that. Okay. Um, we went to a church sale, and y'all, these prices were phenomenal, and we got there early, so we picked up some good things. This is um little little woodsies. I don't know if y'all remember. I had like a big house we had picked up before. And that's what this is. They're like little um, animals that wear clothes and they have like fuzzy, felty type velour. Like flocked. Yeah, almost. flocked. That's, yeah. Is that the word? Yeah. And so we got, this is a farmer's market and a health clinic and it comes with all the little accessories. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah. I mean, that's a ton of little stuff. Right. So we picked all this up for $2. Two dollars. It was all in one bucket together for two dollars. Yeah, I, we don't have any clue how much it's worth. We just knew it was probably worth picking up. Um, I don't remember you getting these. Yeah, I bought those for a quarter look a piece. Look at that, how awesome. Vampire invaders, look, look yeah. at that. That is so cool. Yeah. These are old, old choose your own adventure books. Uh, they're not super old. Some of them are 80s. I used to love these so much. Oh, yeah. I um, think yeah. most kids from our generation probably did. Look. Earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> right. The, yeah, the, the cover art was always kind of fun on them yeah. too. Uh, but yeah, I, I just paid a quarter piece for them. I think I thought I could lock these up for some amount of money. Yep. Then this church was... Church sale also. Church sale also, yeah. yeah. Oh, by the way, we ran into uh, Bev yeah. at, at this sale. Yep. We, we saw her, so that was nice. Um, yeah, picked up this Coronet Automatic 12 typewriter for $5.00. And it had all these, look, check this out. This, yeah, they're all new typewriter ribbons, like old. And they're sealed. 
1973. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the year we were born. Oh, Look, no. that's a 50 year old ribbon in there, sealed. Yeah. Now, are these good or not? I don't know. Right. Typewriter looks like it might work. It's electric. Let me, let me plug it in real quick. It's a good color too. Get get back a little bit. I, yeah, I, I, I kind of looked this up. Oh, it's doing something. Oop, wait, hang on, it's jammed up. Yeah, hey. All right, I think we're good. Okay. I'll test it further than that, obviously. Uh, I don't think this is a, like a super valuable. We might be looking at like 80, 90 bucks here which i'm happy to i'm happy to flip typewriters at that price level for uh the amount we can usually get them for right that's not bad yeah that was awesome candace that's your big find well not your big find but i mean like i don't know soccer balls but i know i did good on a nike soccer ball before and i saw this one so i bought it it's really clean and i only paid a dollar for it yeah, well, you kind of, you looked it up and you found one that's the same ball except a different, different color it was green even the same size I don't know if color matters if for a soccer balls go in value. What did I say? 30 40? It was $30 yeah. free ship, yeah. but it was rough. It, yeah, like even look like like the seams were coming apart right. kind of. Yeah. Th this one looks like it was barely used. Look, there's yeah. no scratches on the paint and stuff, you I know? know? Like and the little I think this is just dirt I can get off. Yeah. The little parts, the little pieces of whatever. If I had to guess, I would say that's probably going to be $30 plus shipping. Yeah. You paid a buck for that? Yeah, a dollar. Okay, nice. This is uh NFL team apparel brand. Just a pullover Saints. I paid 25 cents for it. Yeah, I don't know how you don't buy that yeah. for a quarter. I Throw it. I'm to get this out the way. Okay. Uh, $2 for these Hot Wheel tracks. Um, you can see in the box we have a whole bunch in there. Oh look, there's some cars down there too. Oh, is there? Yeah. See, we didn't see that. Uh, this 1997. Oh. Look, it's Daytona. Look at the crowd. Wait, what is this? It's got contacts on it. Oh. That's like a. That's not for this track, huh? Uh. No. I don't. I don't no, know. I don't see any electrical. Oh wait, that's the bottom. What am I doing? I feel like an idiot. There's some and there's some kind of book down there and stuff. We have we didn't really look at it that well. Yeah, yeah. There's a few cars down there. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah, we paid two dollars for all this. That's from the '90s, you said. 1997 is on that track piece. I just yeah. It, we we figured for two dollars we'll check it out. Yeah. And if it doesn't, if it's not worth selling, then we'll, we can donate it. Or Someone, we'll play with it. No, we're not gonna play with it. We ain't got time <laughs> for that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, two, I mean. For two dollars, we we figured it was worth just taking a shot, yeah. snapping it up, and getting it in the truck and keep on moving. Yeah. So they uh, had these priced at ten dollars a piece. Yeah. And then I held them up and um, asked if they would take five a piece, and they said yes. This is a nice glove, is Mizuno. Yeah. It's really soft. Yeah, it's real supple. It, it's yeah. broken in, right? Like you can, you might be able to tell. Like it's not not yeah. hard at all but it's not like really worn yeah it, it feels like a good it, mm. it's probably like a 20 dollar glove or something you know and then this like is that. an easton glove yeah all right um these are department 56 just some little street lights with a battery pack 50 cents um a whack for these <laughs> <laughs> this is uh um a, like it's from ikea it's some kind of it's probably a cook, cookbook stand or something like that we bought it just to use for display for props yeah because we're, we're constantly we, and we bought something else too the other day and we're constantly looking for stuff to prop up items to make them more visible because it's difficult like when we use this cube over here it's difficult to lay something flat and take a photo that's not really a yeah. good way to do it so this is almost flat that'll be good and then if you wanted to stand something even up more right cards or whatever you, i don't know you we just know. need it we just want a wide variety of that kind of stuff yeah. two dollars for that then candace actually i walked by this keyboard this once was at the church also right it was yeah. and i walked by the keyboard i did see it and then Candace asked me, she said, hey, did you see that keyboard? And I was like, yeah, I saw it. And I'm like, all right, so she asked me about it. I better go look it up. And this is this is a little different because look, it has USB and PS2 connectors. Yeah. So that's pro that probably means it was like late 90s or something, if I had to guess. It's Microsoft brand. Yeah, and it's a uh, natural keyboard pro. 
So, and it's in pretty good condition too. Yeah. So I'll, I'll be able to test it pretty easily since it does have USB. Yeah, it even has these which break off a lot of the mm -hmm. time. Yeah. yeah, no, you're right, they do. Uh, I think it's worth at least 30 bucks. Okay. Um, 30, 35 dollars plus shipping. Yeah. And we only paid $2. two bucks. All right, the floor is all yours, Candace. All right, uh, Walt Disney uh, license plate, vanity plate. Um, we paid a dollar for it. They're not usually huge money, but they always do sell. So, um, and they, I think this, did they, didn't they discontinue this character? I don't, I've never seen that thing in my life. This what was is, a, um, Epcot mascot for a while. I tried was to make, it? They were trying to make Epcot more kid friendly. That looks like the snuggle fabric softener <laughs> no. bear. <laughs> yeah, that's a Duffy there. I've um, never heard of Duffy in my life. That's weird. You probably just didn't notice it when we went. All right, we got some cookbooks. Um, they were, the whole stack was, didn't she give it to us for $3? Because remember you held it up? Right, yeah, I held it up and I, and I was like, how much are the cookbooks? She had $3 and then she said for all of them. Yeah, because some of them were priced and some weren't, so we, we, we didn't know. Uh, look what's cooking, the Oregon Farm Bureau women. Snake Rattle and Rotel. My crazy Sam Higgins. Look at these guys. Oh, no. Look at them. <laughs> now that uh, that guy knows how to cook, I promise you. Oh look yeah, at look at him. He's got the whole setup. Look at that big old cast iron skillet. Looks like something your dad would have been. Look doing. at this kid. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, is it ready yet? That's kind of cool. This is a big uh, Catholic um, school here in Baton Rouge, St. Thomas More. That's a nice cookbook, huh? Yeah, they did. It. Yeah, they really went all out on the printing yeah. on that. It's got like a hard cover. Yeah. Oh look. It's, it's like, professional looking. Yeah, it's really nice. That's the most pro looking. Like that, uh, it's got like images court. from their school. Not just, a lot of these, they just, the, the publisher has stock images like vegetables for the vegetable section. But yeah, this is actually images from the school. Oh, they went all out on that. Yeah. That's the, that's the most nicely produced one I've seen. And then I thought these were funny. They're all three the same. It's um, cooking with corrections. Recipe from the Department of Corrections of, um, I don't even know from where. <laughs> it doesn't even say. I don't know. We have three of them? Yeah. And looks like they did the proceeds to the Capital Area United Way. Department of Employees, Family, and Friends. Yeah, okay. it doesn't say what Department of Corrections. But it did go to um, United Way in Baton Rouge, so it's probably Baton Rouge okay. Department. Um, what is this? That's just another one of those little. I, I I can't not buy these when I see them. It just converts uh, AV to HDMI. Now is that something for you to use around here? Or no, do you I'm sell a, that? I'm a. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'll probably. Well, I'll either try and sell it, or next time I get a video game system, I could throw it in with it. Oh, okay. Because that if you don't have AV inputs on your TV, mm -hmm. then you can use this instead if you want. Okay. That's the idea. Uh, church sale, 50 cents, Madame Alexander doll. I did not look it up because it was only 50 cents. And I just really liked her big poofy dress. And she has a, uh, that's a measuring tape on it. Yeah. What is that? I don't, I don't know what that's all about. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and you probably just wanted the doll stand too, huh? She's got like really short hair. <laughs> you probably wanted the doll stand well, too, right? It actually has two doll stands. Oh, look. That. Okay. Yeah. We got... Well, that was worth 50 cents just for your doll right. stands. Huh? Also at the church sale, um, these Lily and Vernon bags were 50 cents each. I mean, look at this big old duffel bag for 50 cents. What company is that? Uh, Lily, what did I say? You said Lily and Vernon. Vera Bradley. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, maybe I, I didn't know, but <laughs> even I know that's Vera Bradley. Yeah. What is Lily and Vernon? What do they sell? Um, Lily and Vernon is say household stuff maybe oh, okay. yeah okay i don't know okay i don't remember um it's been, a, been a long weekend i mean they're not immaculate but i figured for 50 cents especially this big tote bag yeah you know? and then the big find of the day the not really day. i don't know <laughs> i'm not sure if it is or not okay this is one of those um take this off this is one of those Her uh, howard miller clocks i have one really Oh man, I, you know what that is? Texaco. That's a little Texaco. I didn't even notice that's that. That's so little. <laughs> yeah, that's a little Texaco. Plaque. Uh, plaque. I don't know emblem, what you call that. Like a little plaque emblem. Yeah. So a company gave gave a employee this clock. The last one we had, 
was similar. It had it, like a. It was a military retirement, right? Or, or, uh, I don't remember, but it had some kind of plaque with somebody's name on it and mm -hmm. stuff. Okay, so this one is also. And we know it works because it started like chiming on the hour while we were still carrying it at the garage sale. Look, it's it's this one is in even better condition than the last one. Yeah. Like it's super clean, and it did have. I was holding while I was holding it up and looking in the back. It started going. It, it happened to hit the hour and started going ding, ding, ding. Yeah, here's the key. Yep, we have the key. You can see it going. And then, yeah, it's running. And then I locked the uh, hammers right yeah. here so it wouldn't chime. Yeah. But yeah, it is still running from, uh, what, when was that? That was that yesterday. That was Saturday? Today, yesterday Sunday. Morning, okay, yeah. so it's still running from then. It's been over 12 hours, yeah, so I'm, I'm assuming it's good. Yeah, okay, nice. Mm-hmm paid $15 for that yeah. and now I'm gonna go grab uh, the few things I got at estate sales this morning that Candace hadn't even seen yet so yep. she'll she'll judge whether I did good or not like on the spot live here okay so just a couple of things that I got at estate sales this morning uh, without Candace which they, one of the one of the ladies did ask about you ask where you were by the way oh, okay. I couldn't believe that I was out there by myself but uh, just got a few things I got this Norwegian Bliss inaugural season book and I paid a dollar fifty I paid half price and it yeah it's just a book about the cruise ship so what they do is they have these books in the cabins and you have the option of buying it um, and this would be like from the first year that this ship sailed now there aren't very many of these on eBay um, mm -hmm. however Candace did say hey good just check out like just search cruise ship inaugural season but right. they all pretty much do it and um yeah there's the carnival the carnival ship yeah this one went for 28 plus shipping here's some other books that went for 20 something 41 that's some yeah carnival celebration commemorative 50th birthday 50th birthday of, of the cruise line i'm assuming well that's why they came out with that ship that's why they, yeah it's for the 50th birthday of carnival but that's just a few that are, have sold mm -hmm. and then if we look these are the wow that's a hundred bucks that's, really that's dumb. that ain't gonna happen come <laughs> on people really rhapsody of the seas they're trying to get 20 bucks free ship and that's yeah. it so there's like three actives and three souls in that whole yeah. genre so so you paid a dollar fifty right yeah i paid a buck fifty maybe we can get 25 plus shipping for it's it it's worth a shot yeah i think so i think it's a good gamble and then the other thing i bought is these this stack of posters i didn't notice this one was cut yeah someone cut this one they were probably going to frame it or did frame it. It, it i mean it doesn't mean we can't sell it but it just means it's going to be probably a little cheaper i guess yeah for sure it looks so like... i remember these from when we were kids from the circus yeah here. absolutely um, yeah so they're just little like businesses would put them up um and, and they're thick they're on like, like card thick, card stock or whatever card, thin cardboard or whatever yeah yeah so we have that um we have a bunch of that print i love circus posters man look at the clowns yeah um, hey, when are these from you think look they were printed in cincinnati well, that one was anyway huh yeah some of them some Probably of the other not. ones have different printings on I wish them they had the year art. i know I, I have no idea what year this was yeah. oh here's one 1991. okay that's the shrine circus the circus posters are just cool aren't they and then this last one if do y'all remember i had that cookbook a few weeks ago and it actually sold two little cooks yeah that's for ponchatoula and i mentioned that they have a strawberry festival every year here's a poster from I think that might be our best piece yeah it looks like their printing was a little sloppy though i know that was printed in arkansas look at that it almost looks like they put a stencil and painted over it or something it does look at that it, yeah. it makes it look cooler though to me yeah it's like uh, it, and this is like textured almost it's, it's extremely it's, bright yeah extreme like it's really high quality inks or something it's mm -hmm. very yeah interesting so what'd you pay for these uh the whole stack mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> what? 81 dollars for all of them okay 
Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You all look like you almost fell down. <laughs> How many do we have? We'll figure it out. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know if I can count that one. Okay, nine. So I paid. So we're into those for like $9 a piece. Yeah. What do you think? Uh huh. <laughs> what do you think uh-huh <laughs> i'm not gonna say anything because there's been plenty of times where i thought he was off his rocker and it turned out to be good yeah there's been and there's been plenty of times where you thought i was off my rocker and i was off my rocker too yeah so we'll see well, i'm sure there's a market for it people love vintage circus stuff i wasn't gonna leave them behind unless they were like yeah. stupid price and they weren't and the graphics are great on oh them. they're awesome look at that and I, I was talking to candace i think the way like if we actually do eventually sell one of these because you can't roll them no you can't roll them all the way up but i can do like a like a, a mild thing like that and box it yeah. which may be that might be better than shipping flat right because shipping something that big flat man yeah, is like, super expensive let's see how long they are it, it would be super expensive to ship flat and it would be harder to protect it it's 22 inches it's 22 inches so tall you would, get that, you would get that four dollar surcharge yeah oh yeah definitely so yeah we'll see well, so what, what do y'all think? Y'all think y'all think I should try and ship those flat or put that that curve on it so I could box it? And, and if then, they don't sell, I'm gonna wallpaper our bathroom in them. Okay, that'd be great. I hope they <laughs> I hope they sell. So you can have clowns looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> I like them. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. I like them too. It, Maybe this cut one will just hang up somewhere. Huh? That, that would actually be cool. Yeah. I think it would look great in here. Yeah. But the, that's one thing. The circus posters are very colorful yeah <laughs> so we but yeah we just wanted to uh film a quick bonus video say hello to you guys say happy weekend and we will see y'all again with a regular regularly that's Schedu a, a regular scheduled can you say regular, regular regularly yeah thank you i'm sure my accent is butchering it regularly regularly <laughs> <laughs> schedule video tomorrow yes so thanks a bunch for watching. We'll see y'all again tomorrow. Bye, y'all. Bye.